Okay, so today we're gonna make ourselves some goulash and as far as I know there's like no definitive way like there's no rules you have to follow of what has to be what so I'm just gonna make it the way I grew up eating it. All right what we're gonna use is we got uh, tomato sauce, we got corn, tomato soup, shells which is very important and I'll explain why later and then uh, ground beef. Okay so first things first we just chuck the ground beef on there and then we're gonna break it up a bunch, right? I just get to smashing. And go ahead and add whatever your favorite seasoning is. I mean, it's gonna do, you know, pepper, a little Montreal steak, and you know, a bit of salt. And you know, just keep smashing it up and getting it good and nice and brown. This is literally what I have to deal with every time I cook. All right, so now we got that part done. First, we're gonna toss in um, tomato soup. Just get her all spread in there. And then we go with tomato sauce. Mix that in right as well. And then the corn is something that I don't always do. You know, it's just, sometimes it's nice to add a little something extra. And then I'm uh, going to throw a little bit of water in there. You know, maybe like a, a half a can worth of uh, water. And we just go ahead and get that all mixed up. And we just give it like 5-10 minutes of doing its thing and then it's, you know, it's pretty much done. Okay, so the reason why you go with the shells, which we're going to dump in now, is because of their shape. If you look at it, once they're cooked up, since we'll be mixing everything together, is uh, you're going to get like all this good stuff stuffed inside the shells. That's really what makes it awesome. And so, yeah, well, that's doing its thing. You know, this is going to continue to do its thing, and they'll both be finished about the same time. Like, sauce is getting pretty close, and then it's just going to, like, you know, get better and better as it's sitting there. Throw a little salt in your water. It does make a difference. Okay, so everything's all done, good, ready to go. And first, you're going to get yourself, you're going to start off with the shells. And then, next, throw in the good old sloppy goodness. And the last thing I like to add, and you don't do this while it's cooking, you can only do this after it's in the bowl, but you just hit it with a little bit of ketchup, and it really mixes in and makes like a whole, really complements it. And now, you know, we just stir everything up. Probably look a whole lot better if I had better lighting. You know what? We need some more of the goods. There we go. All right, so that's what we're end up with. And probably should have done this at nighttime. This natural light coming in the windows is really making things look not so good. But um, yeah, that's like a 15-minute meal. Mm, pretty damn good. It's gonna last me like two days. Oh so, uh, yeah, there you go. Goulash.